Hello everybody. Hey, my name is Todd Bullis. And uh, I know everybody feels like they have a calling in life. And some don't know what that is. But I want to share with you how my calling came about. Being a chief parking lot, you know, administer, it, 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 it's very difficult, you know. Um, and God just opened my eyes one day to, to show me that that's, that's what I need to do. You know, maybe I'm not very talented in it, but, you know, me plus God equals a great parking lot attendant, you know. So let me let me go back back in time years ago. I was sitting in uh, a church, you know, and I was, uh, you know, drinking my Starbucks and uh, enjoying the sermon. And they were talking about James 127 about like widows and orphans, you know, and uh so I was, I was just like, I was just chilling, you know, like the music was great. It was an awesome concert. And I was, I was, uh, you know, enjoying my Starbucks and the kids were in the nursery and, you know, the wife wasn't mad at me anymore for getting upset with her about, you know, being late to church. Uh, we kind of like to be late anyway. Like if we get there just when the music starts, it's like the best, you know, that way we don't have to hear the announcements. But, uh, anyway, uh, so so I'm sitting there and they're talking about widows and orphans in James 127 and how we need to like be obedient to like church, you know, leadership and stuff. And uh, I was learning about how like, like, you know, there's all these orphans in Texas. They're like all over the place. And like all of a sudden it hit me. I could do church parking lot ministry. Because I could still have my Starbucks and everybody would see me as they came in and I could I could like deal with people like this. Like look at this person right here. Look, look, you see how they parked? Like they're like almost in four spots. Just because they're early doesn't mean I mean they got here before I did, you know. Hopefully it's not one of the pastors' cars. But so anyway, um I'm sitting there and I, I fill out, I grab the card and say, yeah, I want to do church parking lot ministry. Oh, wait, wait. For you legalist, it's not, I, I know it's not a church. Like a building is not a church. Okay, like Hope Fellowship here. I know that's not a church. Okay, I know I say that, but it's not a church. I know what it is. It's a 501c3. It's a corporation. Like we're the church. Like we're the body. We're the bride of Christ, right? That's not a church. That's a legal corporation. All right, so uh, I'll be more you know, for the Russells out there, they don't want me to be so general, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll call it, I was sitting in my corporation, all right, drinking my, my local corporation, you know, drinking my Starbucks, and it hit me, church parking lot ministry, like, that'd be awesome, like, I could even wear my cool hat, here, Chevrolet, my Camaro hat, and uh, so, see, like right now, see how the parking lot's empty? Soon I will direct people where to park. Like, I'll show them where to park. You know, there's rules at being a church parking lot ministry. And, you know, you can't just do it. You actually have to get, like, permission from your pastor. You got to, like, take a class, you know, and understand the, the whole spiritual aspects of church parking lot ministry. You know, in Texas, church parking lot ministry is a big deal because there's only so many places to park. And uh, it's important that, uh, you know, people don't think like the parking lot's full or anything when there's, there is room for people. So, but, uh, you know, anyway, that's how I became obedient to God was, you know, James 1.27. You know, being obedient and uh, church parking lot ministry, like that's like my favorite verse now, James one twenty seven, because it brought me to church parking lot ministry. I can actually do this, and, and it's all good, you know. And then like, I, I get the first donuts, you know. Like I get, I get like, I get to like hang out with like the pastors and stuff. Like I'm part of the team. Like I get those emails before anybody else gets them. You know, it's, it's awesome. 
So I got to get back and find out who this person is that parked like that and uh, admonish them, you know. Oh, wait a minute. I got to be godly about it. Like, clean. I got to do a good job. So anyway, if you too are sitting in a corporation, all right, so there you go, Russell, your local corporation, and um, you're wondering what to do, like how you can serve, there's always room for more church parking lot attendance. The ministry is like, you know, there's very few people that are actually doing it. And, uh, you know, you just have to wave, smile a lot, and then, like, direct people. Like, like, you need to know this, and this, and that one. And make sure nobody parks in the pastor's spot. Like, that's like, you'll actually get fired if, if somebody parks in the pastor's spot. Because that, that's really your job, make sure that... You know, the pastor can't park, or you know, he, he has access to park. You know, because it's it's like a, it's kind of like a place of a honor. You know? So anyway, God bless, and please join me in the church parking lot sometime, and uh, we can talk about church parking lot ministry. God bless everybody. Bye.